Tonight, from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's a special prime time edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Here's the putter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway in Foxborough. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. First try on offense for the Bucs and their veteran quarterback, Tom Brady. Well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on a football field for a couple of decades now, but how about his most impressive accomplishment? Moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stiff our father time the way that he has. Throwing on first down is Brady. First hook up with his all-pro tight end, Rob Gronkowski. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Play action, it's Brady. Looking downfield for Godwin. Oh, this is taken in, it's complete. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Chris Godwin, 67 yards. And the Bucks have taken a first quarter lead. Ryan Suckup on for the point after. Gives the Bucks a seven to nothing lead. So a 75-yard scoring drive on just three plays, and it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. And oh my, mistake there! Backs up, takes a fair catch at the three-yard line. So here are the Patriots now backed up a bit to start their first drive. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up-and-down game, almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage. Our team's trying to run with them, and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not. Just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. On the give, this is Harris. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. I know what you're thinking out there. I know a lot of you are thinking, take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep moving. No, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. <laughs> to throw on second and 10, Jones. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. You know it was tough for them to stand on the sidelines and watch the other team take it downfield and score, wasn't it? So they knew when they got on the field, it's on them. Pick up first downs, get downfield and score. How about them picking up that third and short? I was just going to say, you and I were talking before the game, those third down conversions are going to be huge in this one. 
You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Throwing Jones. He'll get this to his tight end, it's Jonu Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. Tackle made that time by Vita Vea. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now Jones. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. To throw on third down, Jones. He completes it to Henry. The ball comes out, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They hand this off to Harris, and on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. He was brought down by Sean Murphy Bunting. They'll run it here. This is James White. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. Here's Jones on third down. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. Touchdown, Patriots. Kendrick Bourne, a 16-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. This is similar to baseball, where you walk the leadoff hitter, and you don't expect him to come around and score. Almost impossible. Anytime a defense has to defend a short field, you usually end up seeing the result we saw, giving up points. Full connects on the extra point, and that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, 
Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Play action. Now it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. Now Brady again. Throw right side, taken in by Godwin. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. Fournette, a first down carry. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. To throw on second and six, Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about... And in for the Buccaneers, touchdown! Tom Brady with a touchdown pass to Chris Godwin. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Suck up for the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. So that drive consumes nine plays all told, and it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. On the return oh, yeah. is J.J. Oh, yeah. Taylor. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there. Call it the 26. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tonic. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Back to throw. Jones. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. It's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're usually going to pick up a holding call. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A big play there for New England. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive. And these aren't ordinary completions. They're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way. Oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. On first down, it's Harris. 
It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Again, it's Harris on second down. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And that's some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. Now we're run with a fullback, Johnson. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. The one didn't work very well on that play. Defenders on third and short know it's going to be a quick read. And really, the quarterback's just going to turn around and hand it off. So that way, you're able to diagnose the play and try and get to the point. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Again, we see Tom Brady and the Bucs set to take over. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well. No one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them. And the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. From the gun, it's Brady. Now he finds Gluck. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. A handoff to Fournette. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? On second down and four, Brady. A quick pass here to Godwin. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 43. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect. Oh, well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. And he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times that time not so fortunate and that's where i want to start what you said it's paid off a couple of times so his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part so he throws an interception there no one likes that but i would not rein him back in the return on investment thus far has been pretty good two touchdowns to one interception second and five now jones and this one incomplete too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And the Buccaneers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at the 20. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. 
And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. On first and 10, here's Brady. That's complete to Tyler Johnson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. But well, whenever you call and run the hitch route, a lot of times that ball's got to be in the air before the receiver even turns around. That's a result of throwing it so many times in practice. It's really a timing route. Make sure that ball's out of your hands, and oftentimes the receiver turns around, and there's the ball. Nice completion there. From the 47, it's second and five. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Evans. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. On second down, here's Fournette. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. And over the dime look that time on defense, just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they take a 17-14 lead. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play <laughs> -play guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Jones on first and 10. His throw incomplete. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. Jones throw taken in by Bourne. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 23. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts to his... Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Devin White able to take him down. It's a loss of three. But that's what they have to do more of defensively, not just getting sacks. We have to keep getting in his face, not let him get his feet set and deliver. He's been carving him up previously. Yeah, already has a couple of touchdown passes. About time they put a few grass stains on that jersey. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. On third down, here's Harris. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. Well, someone's been having a good game so far. And you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Now Jones throwing on first down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Levante David. And the Bucs are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. 
Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. you got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Running left, it's Fournette. And this is going to be a Bucks first down as the tackle made just shy of the 30. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now Brady. Here's Johnson with a reception. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. You could tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. On play action, now Brady. Johnson with a completion over the middle. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 21. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll try the right side here with Fournette. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking. And that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. On first down, Brady. They'll swing this out to Fournette. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Three yards the gain there, second down. Here's Brady to throw. A pass underneath for Fournette. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. So the completion good for seven there. And that is going to set up a third and one. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, Bernard. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Suckup's kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Pats at the line ready to go. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. But he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referees. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man 
or the ball. And if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. To throw again on second down, Jones. He gets it complete to Harris. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And folks, kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast, there you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. Taylor now from the end zone. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. For the Patriots, over to start quarter number three. They'll start the drive with Harris. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And even 100 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Sean Murphy Bunning got him down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Harris has it over the middle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Stevenson now on first and ten. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Six yards left on second down. Now Harris. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the... Blitz coming, and down he goes. Devin White in there to get him for a loss of three, and it will be fourth down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. And their three-point halftime lead gone now back to a tie game. But, Charles, I don't imagine that changes too much for this offense. I would agree. I don't think it changes much at all, whether it's a three-point lead or a tie game. They know they have their work cut out for them, and they were going to run their offense in the same vein. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Throwing again on second and ten. Brady looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Throwing is Brady on third down. 
is incomplete. But a pressure there on third down, forcing the errant pass. Fourth down coming up. Here's Bradley Pinion now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Patriots take over. New England trying to get a place on offense. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Well, from an offensive perspective, that was a tough run because he only picked up three yards. Well, let's flip it over to the defensive side. They now have the advantage. Three three-yard gains, that means they're punting the ball likely on fourth down. That's what you're looking for when you're playing defense. They'll run on first down. It's Harris, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. From just shy of midfield, Jones finding Bourne here over the middle. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 40. Harris. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 18. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves him all the way down to the one. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want them. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris taking it in from a yard out. And the Patriots have moved out in front. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths, running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Tom Brady leads the offense out for their next possession. He's hoping to channel his first half play. They had the lead at halftime, which playing well. Flip the script here in the third quarter a little bit. I think he misses the Pee Wee days, you know, <laughs> when you just got the orange slice yeah. at halftime, right? And remember, weren't any real adjustments then, right? You weren't looking at some tape, right? You weren't looking at stuff off of the, the surface tablets. He just went back out and played. Right now, maybe the adjustments have caught up to him. Well, we'll see. Maybe he just needs a couple orange slices here for this drive. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got it complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now Brady, the quick slant caught. A gain of seven that time, second goal. Well, if you do read 
read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Brady going to throw. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Tyler Johnson there to make the grab. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Extra point up and good by Sucka. And that will tie our game here in the third. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. Damian Harris to the Patriot offense, ready to take over again. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. Big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Jones now on first down. Room to run past midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. That's a really nice, tough run inside and they gain five yards on it and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man is born. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run with Harris. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. 153 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Stevenson is not going to get a whole lot, maybe a yard down to the three. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Stevenson again, and the D not yielding much there. He's only going to get a yard to about the two. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I open th There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Patriots answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed and in a tight game. After review the play, so they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. They'll give it to the fullback up the middle, and he will bowl his way in there for the two points. Nothing.
Nothing fancy there on that two-point try. Give it to the big boy let him go to work. That almost felt like Sandlot football that we used to play, didn't it? Biggest guy on your team who can carry the ball, hand it to him and let him rumble. Nobody picked me on the Sandlot football <laughs> team. You were quarterback, and I know better. I was the water boy. And the Buccaneers getting ready to go as they take the field. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one-possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little. They're looking for Godwin, but it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Jackson. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Extra point up and good by Folk, and the lead is up to 15 now. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. They'll come up now on second and a yard. Here's Brady. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judah. Remember to my career here in defensive coach, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. On the screen, Bernard. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Three yards all they can muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll run with Stevenson to begin the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second and eight coming up. Back to throw. Jones. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Here's Jones to throw on third down. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And caught by Henry. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Now, there was a time when I would have been upset at teams throwing the ball with a big lead late, but I've evolved a little bit. I've come around. Ultimately, they're looking for first downs. If they think the air is the best place to do it, then so be it. In addition, you probably got a quarterback. It's a nice bonus if he keeps completing passes. So they want to keep throwing the football? Fine by me. 
This defense, Charles, they have unraveled here in the third. In a sense, it's like they're being pressed, like in a basketball game, and they just can't get the ball over half court. I mean, no matter what they do, they can't get off the field, they can't slow them down, they're just going up and down the field against them. Yeah, unraveling would be a perfect word for them. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Levante David able to get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of a yard. Remember, he had the interception earlier. Now he adds the sack. He's really making his presence felt out there. Well, he is putting together a heck of a game. In fact, he's going to bump these plays to his highlight reel. Okay, so when he wants to show it off later on, look what I did out there, guys. And this offense, they've got to start paying him a little special attention. He's like a good basketball player, putting stats in every column. New England on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and eight. They run once more with Stevenson. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But, you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Bucks' offense set to begin their next possession. And the complexion of this one has really changed a fair amount. That last field goal makes it a three-score game, so they need points in a hurry with time dwindling in the fourth quarter. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Brady fights him off. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Meanwhile, Brady's throw pulled in by Gronkowski. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brady to throw again. That's complete, Bernard. And he's gonna be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Throwing now is Brady. He'll get this one complete to Darden. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Brady now to throw. 
He finds Howard complete. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And now he's closing in on 450 yards passing. That's an incredible number. I mean, you're talking about the best defenders in the world that you're trying to throw the ball against, and you're creating that type of a number. Fantastic job, fantastic performance. And he's going to have to ice up his arm afterwards, too. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Bruce Arians takes a shot there, but his guys come up empty. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dap. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Got the connection here to board. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Throwing Jones. Going right side here, and that's complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the box 26. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down, Stevenson. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that anytime you hand the ball to a back. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. On the left hash mark, this is a 38-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.